So here we have the Volkswagen T-Roc on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with the 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase that space even further and then underneath this tray section even more space again. Okay now they're inside the car we're going to start with the dials on the left hand side we have the rev count and on the right hand side the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle you can see the total miles are 9138. Above that uh, we could change the information displayed in that section for different menus so we've got telephone, vehicle status, driving data, assist systems, your audio which we were on a moment ago and telephone. Uh, driving data menu uh, will give you various different things, uh, fuel economy etc but it will also give you a digital readout for the speedometer which is particularly handy. We back out to the steering wheel. The buttons I was using a second ago are over here. We have stereo controls, which continue on the left. Cruise control. Once you've set cruise control or turned it on, hit this button here. This car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically, depending on the car in front's speed. In the center, we then have the touchscreen for the car. So we're on the radio menu at the moment. And you'll be able to see this car has got FM, DAB, and internet radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the Bluetooth audio or My Media. My Media will enable you to um, change and set up your own playlists essentially. Uh, and you can access those music options either from radio or from the media option just there. To pair your phone, hit that button, follow the instructions on screen from there. If I put the car into reverse, you'll see that we have a full color reversing camera. Working our way down from that, we then have the full um, dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on and off again. Or hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperatures you asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. And you can override that manually whenever you wish to. You see also has now gone off. Beneath that, we have two USB-C inputs, a 12 volt charging socket, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, and then an electronic handbrake with auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.